Hey guys, I'm Freddie Mercury. Wait, no I'm not. I'm the Cuban Tom Selleck. No, not that either. I'm Eddie guys, and today I'm going to be talking to you about why I chose the 2LT package on my 2017 Corvette Grand Sport. So for anybody who's a car enthusiast, excuse me, a Corvette enthusiast, and you're going through the motions of trying to pick out which Corvette interior you want, which trim you want, you know you have three options. The 1LT, the 2LT, and the 3LT. This particular model is the 3LT. So I'm going to be basically going through all the different um, features and places where you can save money with each particular trim. And I'll basically explain why I chose the 2LT. First of all, it's the happy medium between all of them. So thanks for watching and let's go through this. The other thing I wanted to mention was that the three packages that I just mentioned, the 1LT, 2LT, and 3LT, all apply across the board between the normal Corvette Stingray, the Z51, the Grand Sport, as well as the Z06. So this, this information is applicable for all models, okay? So to start off with, the 1LT is the most base of the three, and the next step up, which is the 2LT, costs $4,455 more. So it's a good chunk of change that you have to pay in order to get the next step up. But you do get a substantial amount of features for that money. There are some good things behind the 1LT that, you know, it's good for, for everybody, which is it comes with leather seating, it comes with a significant amount of leather wrapped interior, and it also comes with a rear view camera. I know that a rear view camera is not for purists, but I don't know about you, but you can't really see much out the back. And uh, the B pillars here as well as the C pillars are huge and you can't really see. And uh, basically to look out your rear view mirror, at least in the Grand Sport, you have the huge uh, um, fender flares, which, you know, are great because it provides that wide body look. But at the same time, it really, really impedes your view. So that's something to take into consideration. Another reason why people like to get the 2LT package over the 1LT is that, and I'm going to whip out my camera here. So if any of you are wondering what camera I use to uh, basically record the interior shots of my videos, um, I have a Sony Alpha 6000. The newer model is out, which means that this model is now cheaper. So that's good for a lot of us who are trying to save money. So as I switch the settings over here to video. So on the 2LT package, basically, this whole area over the dash um, is wrapped in is wrapped in leather, but it's interior colored leather, which in the case of black, it looks okay, but in the case of red, I think that it kind of looks bad, but that's just my opinion. One of the good things about the 1LT package is that you could also get the competition seats and if you select the competition seats, you could get the inserts in suede like the ones I have and in turn get the steering wheel in suede as well as the shift knob and the shift boot. So that's a good thing. Um, other things that you get with the, with the 2LT package is uh, increase in your color options for the interior. An example of that is uh, the 1LT only comes in black, red, and gray. But if you choose the 2LT interior, you also get the Kalahari, which some people prefer. I personally don't, but to each their own. Um, one of the other things that you get is the 10 speaker Bose system in the 2LT as well as 3LT that you do not get in the um, 1LT package. So I have not listened to the Bose system in the 1LT. I don't know if it's good or bad. I just know that this is by far the fanciest car I've ever had. So when you compare my audio system and my WRX, which is a total piece of trash, compared to this, this is significantly better. So I definitely like that. A huge, huge component of why I chose the 2LT over the 1LT is the feature of the heated and ventilated seats. Um, I live in North Carolina right now, so right now I'm really enjoying the heated seats. But in those couple of weeks where it was still in the 80s, um, I really did enjoy the ventilated seats. It's not necessarily like uh, air conditioned seats. Uh, you do kind of feel the fan just running behind your back. It's not uncomfortable. It's definitely pleasant and um, I, I personally love it. Um, the other thing that this, this particular model has is, and as I go ahead and show you, 
you also get the remote for your garage door. So that's a nice feature to have. And as I zoom in over here, you see the buttons with the heated and cooled seats for both you and your passenger. So they'll be very grateful for that. All right, so <clears throat> other things that are available on the 2LT package that are that is not available on the 1LT, which I also feel justifies the price increase, is the heads-up display. And, you know, people have their opinions about the heads-up display, but I personally like it a lot. Um, I actually enjoy it, especially when the when the shift lights come on, um, when I'm actually driving the car hard, it's it's a cool little touch that the the shift lights come on in the in the heads-up display. So I'll just quickly insert here an example of what the heads-up display looks like, so everybody can see that. So one of the things that is not such a big deal um, for me is the Sirius XM radio. I don't even know if I'm saying Sirius correctly, but when you pick the 1LT, it gives you a three month subscription. For those of us who choose a 2LT or the 3LT package, it's a one year subscription, which, you know, if you're trying to save some money um, or you actually use the Sirius XM, then I definitely recommend that. To be honest with you, I do not use that. So for me, it's not a big deal. Um, on the 2LT package versus the 1LT, you do get some more interior leather. How much? I do not know. That's for, for people who are um more interested in all that i know that this does not come in leather in any of the of the particular models so that's another that's another difference the 2lt package as well as the 3lt package both come with the front cameras which i showed you guys on the interior um on the interior tour video and that's a nice thing to have especially when you're um when you have a place where you need to kind of parallel park and you're not sure how close you are to the person in front of you because it's you know, you might be the best driver in the world and the best person parking in the world, but I'm not. So I do rely on the rear view camera and I do rely on the front camera. Am I a bad person because of that? Yes, I'm a terrible fucking person. Anyway, um, so th those are basically some of the some of the differences between the 2LT and the 1LT. And the reason why I chose that spending those uh, $4,500 basically um, was definitely worth the, worth the difference. So let me see if I forgot anything else here. And no, I didn't. The other thing that um, that's important when I chose a 2LT package is that the 3LT package was $5,290 more. That's a lot of money. Five grand, $5,300 is a lot of money when, when you know, you're trying to build yourself uh, a sports car that, you know, is well balanced and it does everything well enough. Um, but one thing that that package does include is the navigation with the performance data recorder. I paid extra for that package, so I paid $1,790 for the performance data recorder and the navigation. To be honest, I don't use the navigation, especially now with um, the Apple CarPlay being available. Um, Google Maps works just fine, excuse me, as I see who texted me here. All right, so the other thing that, that's included in the 3LT package, and this might be um, something that's important for people who like finer, the finer things in life, such as uh, Napa leather. Well, the seats are covered in Napa leather, and um, my seats are suede, so I guess the leather that I feel is sufficiently good enough. Um, I don't know. To me, it's perfectly fine the way it is. One other thing that, that occurs in the 3LT package is that you have the suede interior trim, and so I'm going to show you all what that looks like. As this, as this records, so you get suede on the A pillars, you get suede up here on the headliner, and I don't have much of a headliner, so I don't really care about that. And then remember, it's good to hang up your GoPro on your glass roof, like I have right here. Uh, so then you get the suede on the A pillars, you get suede back here on the on the B pillar or on the C pillar, and back here around the head. So if that's important to you, well, then a 3LT package might be the, the deal winner for you, but not for me. So what else is included in leather? Well, you get all these door, uh, these door materials here are in better, better qual quality leather. Um, and, you know, one of the things I like a lot about the 3LT package that 
I wish I could have selected for the tool T package was to get all the stitching done in in red or in yellow. I personally would have selected red, but it would have been very nice to have all of the stitching that instead is in white. I would have much preferred that to be in red. So all this stitching there for it to be in red would have been amazing for me but and the thing is that it's not even a very expensive option it's uh, oh yeah and that includes the door here so all of this would have been in red and for 400 bucks which is what they would have charged for it I don't think that's a great deal of money so all things considered you may differ in your opinion though so yeah um, but that's that's basically it so that's those are the differences between the the one LT package to the two LT package, and then the difference from the two LT package to the three LT package. Remember, from the one LT to the two LT, you have a price jump of approximately forty five hundred dollars. The price jump from the two LT to the three LT is approximately fifty three hundred dollars. <throat> you know, if you factor in the if you factor in the performance data recorded in the navigation, which I hope you pick for your car, it's only a $3,500 difference. But that $3,500 difference, what does it get you? A little bit of suede on the A-pillars, a little bit leather, better leather. That's all subjective. So if you choose whichever one of those packages, I can't, I can't tell you that you're right or wrong. Um, I think it's ultimately what your preference is and where you choose to spend your money. I think the fact that you're buying a Corvette to begin with is a fantastic thing. So don't sweat the, don't sweat the details of... Um, people making comments about what package you chose because everybody's preferences are different and you know make your Corvette your own and definitely order the museum delivery package and order your Corvette custom because it's totally worth it and if you're going to spend that amount of money might as well do it right so I hope you enjoyed this video uh, thank you for all my new subscribers to my channel I'm happy to make videos I do this for fun <laughs> um, I just get bored and I start thinking of ideas so the ideas that you guys come up with and the questions that you guys ask me on the channel lead to me coming up with uh, videos. So really I don't have any original ideas. They're all stuff that you guys ask me to do. And I'm happy to go ahead and do them. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the thumbs up. And I appreciate your time. and Yeah, your time. Thanks guys. See you later.